Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a $5 challenge, but I looked at all of the ingredients. I kind of went over in my head what I wanted to do and it actually went to $6. So I am going to make this into a $6 challenge because we're a family of six and it's just not gonna work for $5. So um, I don't know, I've seen those type of challenges going around on YouTube and I wanted to try it out, but it just, does not work for our family. <laughs> so I think $6 is pretty good for um, the amount of food that we're gonna be doing, the type of meals, and how many it's going to feed. So I feel like $6 a day for 30 days, I mean, you think about that, and that's what, under $200 for the whole month. So I don't think I've ever only spent $200 in a month for groceries, so. I think $6 a day is really, really good. So I'm gonna show you breakfast, lunch, and dinner. These are all really good. They're very filling. All three of them are very filling and they're all very nutritious, have lots of protein in every single one of these meals. And um, I mean, they're not like nasty or I absolutely hate meals with tuna or any type of seafood. So I don't usually like do stuff like that. So, I mean, they're all gonna be really good. I hope that you guys like them. Let's get started. All right, this is my very sad, pathetic looking haul here. I'm gonna try to make this work. So, um, yeah, not very many ingredients. We have some sausage. I am gonna use this whole thing. This was um, a little bit under $2. I have some hot dogs. These are were actually on sale for $1.49, so I snagged that. Um, we have some diced, over here, <laughs> diced tomatoes, chili beans. We have some tomato sauce and some potatoes that I surprisingly snagged for a dollar at all of these uh, last week. So this, uh, I know I said 6.10 or 6.20, but I think the total was 6.36, hold on, let me look. Okay, so my total was actually $6.46. So around $6 for a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna use a couple potatoes here. Because I need the rest of this for my potato soup that I'm going to be making. So, um, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully this is enough potatoes. I'm just going to go ahead and rinse them off. potatoes in this grease here. That way I'm not using oil, which costs money. I already use bacon, so just use what I got. I'm gonna take our potatoes and we're just gonna cook these up. Okay. That might need a little bit more. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more bacon grease. Now I'm going to put a lid on this so it's not splattering everywhere. Okay, I'm going to add some seasoning salt. Give it some flavor. And then some pepper. Go over here. another good stir, but they're pretty much done here. All right. I'm going to push all this off to the side and then I'm going to cook the sausage right here. So this is half of some sausage and we'll use the other half later for our dinner. 
Okay, I'll see if I can do this right. I didn't want to get another pan out just to cook the sausage. So I was going to see if I could do it like this. We'll see. Alright, I got everything here nice and cooked through. I'm just going to stir this together now. Now usually I would make this with eggs, but eggs is a million dollars and you have to sell your kidney to buy any eggs. So this is what we're doing. We're doing this. I wanted eggs, but it's just not in my budget to do that. So I just kind of had to improvise here. All right. I cooked half of this, which is about 98, 97 cents worth of sausage. Or I could have done eggs, which probably would have needed at least six eggs. And that's a good two bucks right there. So it's more than double the price if I would have chose to do eggs. But anyways, this looks good. Uh, I'm going to give it to my kids for some breakfast and see if they like it. All right. More salt, or is it good? Need more salt. Need more salt. Okay, let Jojo try. Let's try. Yeah. But mommy, can we have it for lunch? I need more. Much. Mm. The yummy? Mhm. Mm Potatoes cooked through. Mhm. Mm okay, give it to Bob. He wants to try. <laughs> can I have the rest, mommy? Maybe. Try nine. It's hot, Bubba. You have the rest last time. All right. Have the rest. All right. Okay, let go. Let go. Okay, I'll give it to you in just a minute. Is it yummy? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. The rest. All right. Give give it a good thumbs up if you liked it. There you go. You do thumbs up. <laughs> There we go, all right. Hey guys, okay, for lunch today, we're going to be making a potato soup. So it's not gonna be anything fancy. It's not gonna be super, super creamy and delicious. It's gonna be very basic, but it's still gonna be really good. I've made it before this way and it's still really good. Um, sometimes we like to put like ham or bacon with our potato soup. So if it's in your budget to do that, go ahead and add that in there. Sometimes the sour cream would be good too. But I'm basically just going to be adding potatoes and I have um, some of this here that I'll be using. This was just in my seasoning cabinet. And so we're gonna make, a, this will be, maybe we'll use about a cup or two of chicken broth. So I'll use a couple teaspoons of this. And then I'm gonna be using some evaporated milk. This is the cheapest that I've been able to find it. It's crazy that like six months ago, this was like 58 cents and now it's more than double that. I was able to score this for $1.12 at Costco. So I was pretty excited about that, but it's really ridiculous. So I feel like I shouldn't be excited about $1.12, but um, kind of is what it is these days. And then I have the rest of these potatoes. This is all that I have left. So that's all I'm going to be working with. So we'll see how far I can stretch it. Hopefully I can fill it, feed the six of us for, um, hopefully it can make enough food for the six of us. So if not, I may have to improvise. All right. Anyways. All right. So we'll see if this is going to stretch us, um, to feed all six of us. Let's get started. All right, now I'm just going to dice up these potatoes. I have about nine potatoes. They're all medium to small size. 
So I'm hoping that this will make it because I also have to make dinner and I do use about three potatoes for dinner. So I'm just gonna put these into bite-sized pieces and I do have my daughter helping me um, just kind of peel those potatoes for me. And then once all these potatoes are um, all cut up, I'm just gonna go ahead and place it in this big um, Dutch oven here. And so I just boiled this with some water and then I dumped all the potatoes in it. And then I'm just gonna add just a little tiny bit of some um, chicken bouillon just to give it um, some more flavor. some of this broth here. I'm going to leave a little bit and then I'm going to pour in some milk. So let me drain this. I don't really have like a potato mash or anything like that. Yeah. But, but I'm just going to mash this up best I can here. Alright, and then I'm going to add in I'm going to add in our evaporated milk. I'm just going to add the whole thing there. Alright. Give this a good stir. And then we're going to add in some seasonings. It's really hot, I know. <laughs> I can see Bubba over there. He like barely takes a bite. Bobby, you okay? It's really cold. It's really cold, Addy. Really good. You like it? Oh, yeah. Anybody else take a bite? Baba, Me, how is it? I took a bite. Good. Good. It's I hot. Took a bite. Okay. Jojo? It's good. It's a little bit hot. <laughs> I like her little bones. Cracked it. All right, bud. What'd you guys think? Um, it, it's really hot. But what does it taste like? Um, potato soup. <laughs> there is nothing left. They ate everything. It was that good. I have five potatoes here that I'm just going to dice up. Um, just into little bite-sized pieces. And then we're going to put it on here. These, I don't know if I said this earlier, but these are Yukon Golds. And so I'm just going to dice these up and then we're going to put them in here. are done I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in the oven I preheated my oven already for 400 degrees and so I'm just gonna let this cook while I am making the chili it really doesn't take me long to make uh, the chili um, maybe like 10 minutes or so but I just want these to kind of start to get nice and soft and then um, once they once I'm done with the chili I'm gonna go ahead and add in the hot dogs and then we're gonna put the cheat the chili on top and then if you have some cheese 
in your budget you can put it on top I just had some in my fridge so I'm just going to use that up I just have like just a little bit maybe not even a cup so and then I'll just put that on top and we will cook this for I'm going to say about 20 minutes or so you just want to make sure that these potatoes are nice and tender all right now I'm going to go ahead and cut up my hot dogs I have my potatoes in the oven I'm just going to go ahead and get these all cut up I'm not sure if I'm going to use this full package or not, but I feel like at least four will be good enough. use about half of this sausage here and I'm just gonna cook that up like normal get off No more pink. I'm gonna go ahead and add in our stuff here. I'm gonna add in some seasonings first. Okay, I'm gonna add in some spices. I may not add all of this, but I just have some chili powder, some cumin, some salt, and then I have some garlic salt, and I just kind of mixed it all together here. Also put in some minced onions, and I'm just gonna give this a good stir. fairly good right there. I'm going to go ahead and add in some diced tomatoes. Yeah. Okay. And then we have some tomato sauce I'm going to add. Earlier I had the bigger can, but I thought about it and this is this one is cheaper. And I don't think I'm going to need a whole bunch of tomato sauce since I'm just making a half portion of this. So this one I think is 38 cents versus the 62 cent can. So that should be good enough. And then I have some chili beans that I'm going to add. Normally I make my chili a lot different, but I'm just trying to watch what I'm spending here. So I'm just going to add these ingredients, kind of call that good. I think I will put in a little bit more seasoning though. So my potatoes have been cooking for probably about 15 or so minutes. They're a little bit tender, not very much. I'm just gonna go ahead and ah, throw in these hot dogs. Yeah, that was about right. I feel like that's a decent amount. Um, comparatively. Okay, then I'm gonna grab my chili. Ooh, that's heavy. Good gracious. Let's try it this way. Alright, I'm just going to layer that on top here. Alright, that looks good. 
And then I'm gonna put the cheese on top here. And we're gonna bake this. All right, and we'll bake this for probably about another 15 or so minutes. There we go. Addie, how is it? Good, but really spicy. Mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. I good so much. <laughs> what do you think? Good. <laughs> <laughs> and here is our leftovers. Woo! So, it's a good little portion here. So all of us were able to eat, we, all six of us were able to eat, and we had quite a bit of leftovers here. So that's pretty good. Pretty excited about that. Thanks so much for watching this video. Um, if you enjoy this type of videos or this type of content, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and let me know what type of um, what type of meal was your favorite? I can go ahead and tell you what my favorite was, and it's probably that potato soup. Um, even though it was just basic, I still love potato soups all around, however you make them. Um, let's see here. All right, and if you did like this kind of content, I have other videos just like it right over here, so go ahead and check those out after you're done watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.